Bueno, difícil de resumir el partido. Yo creo que la segunda parte hemos estado mejor, hemos jugado uh, mejor, hemos sido con we más ímpetu y con más personalidad al ataque, hemos intentado. Attack. En la primera we, we hemos tenido dominio y la posición, first, pero no hemos tenido muchas ocasiones. But we Nos didn't create many opportunities. Final, último pase, un tiro, una we were missing individual. with the final shot was, was missing. Mejor. Inter ha, ha conseguido un gol desde fuera del área. Inter y, managed to get the goal from outside the area. Eh, sabemos que and they defended very well. De, de atacar, we know that they can be difficult to attack. Atrás, tres, tres en medio y dos puntas, pero eh, creo que hemos, I think, hemos merecido mucho más. I think we deserve much more than this defeat. De la decisión del árbitro. What do you think of the, the decision of the referee is the question that he's being asked by the journalist. De la mano de... ¿Qué pre preguntas says, mi opinión? Are you asking my pues opinion? Es clarísima la mano. It's, it's obvious. No it's a handball. Hoy tendría que estar el árbitro aquí para hablar de says, la decisión. The referee would have to be no here standing here and giving you his explanation for the decision. They have to talk as well. I don't understand why they don't go to the press conference. No it's extremely important that no they understand why it wasn't a penalty. Pero para mí, mi opinión. For me, in my opinion, it was absolutely clear. Um, uh, so we, we have played around with the angles of this a little bit, I understand, and we can show you some some different angles and just kind of get your thoughts on this again, maybe. I mean, it's clear as day. What more do you need? It's handball. Penalty. It's as simple as that. I understand this frustration. We all think the same, don't we, guys? Yeah, I, I think sometimes you just hope the VAR and, and the referee as a team come together and say, we made a mistake. That's what you want to hear, if we're being totally honest. and. It's almost, in some ways, accept it a little bit more, but this thing of maybe trying to find more angles, look at different ways, almost to try and prove your point why it wasn't a penalty, it's a huge mistake. And, and, and the problem is, if that was in real time, you could accept the referee not seeing it. Maybe it, was, it, it happened so quickly, he's in, a, in a, a strange position to see it, and decisions like that are why we've got VAR, and it hasn't done its job tonight. Mm -hmm. and, and you just hope this doesn't cost, basically, one or the other going through. You, right. you don't want it to come to that. Yeah. No, the, the only thing I want to add up is exactly what uh, Chavi said. I've been saying for a long time, we will all. We, we, you can understand that someone says I made a mistake, but they always hide and, and don't come and talk. Mm. I had to talk sometimes about some stuff that I've done. You the same, you the same, even you the same. They, those guys hide and go and see their committee and talk on the, on the Monday what should have been done or not done, which I understand, like we all do when you have to give answers to the sporting director as a coach. Or your fans, when they wait for you at the training ground, a bit less in, in England, but in Europe, trust me, it can happen. And that result was massive. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, can they come and talk? Are they part of the game or are they not part of the game? Can they explain? And we, call on, we can all understand, sorry, a human mistake. Absolutely. You know, and, but they don't come and talk, so I, I, I cannot understand what they're doing. But first of all, let me welcome in, where am I? Here I am. Our viewers uh, who have just joined us from the Golasso Show. I hope you enjoyed yourself with Nico and Freddie. Welcome along to our show. This is Kate, Terry, Jamie and Micah. And now we're about to introduce Christina. And we all want to have a nice little argument with Christina. <laughs> Uncle, where are you? There you are. Hello. Uh, OK, so we're ready. Who, who wants to pose a question to Christina? Well, Christina, what is going on, please? You, you've heard all our conversation here. <laughs> we, need, we need answers from everything in that game. The referees were an absolute this shambles. This a wild game. Where do you want to start? We want to start with the Pedri goal, Christina, is what we want to look at first. So, so let's throw up the images here. Is it Christina who's going to take us through? Go ahead. All right, perfect. So yeah, this is the one that we talked briefly about halftime. Leading into it, we have this cross going in. We think Pedri scores the back of the belt net, but what was leading up to it was a handling offense right there. And I want to be very clear, here we have deliberate handling because his arm is above his shoulder, around his silhouette. We don't have an accidental handling that leads to the goal scorer, Pedri. That was removed two years ago. So there's actual handling directly into the goal. That has been taken away if it led up to it, unless it was the actual goal scorer directly. Here we have a deliberate handling offense, so that was the correct decision. And we do send the referee, the VAR uh, monitor, to sell that for the fact that we had offside leading into that. Christina, you mentioned it rightly. Oh, well, obviously, you know better than us that that rule was taken away about the, the person who assists it with the hands. What you've just sort of said, deliberately handballed. Now, I don't think that's right that he deliberately handballed it, but it's right that his hand was outside his silhouette. I'll accept that. But the goalkeeper touches it. I mean, we're talking inches in front of him. So the goalkeeper actually deflects the ball onto his hand. Does that not come into the equation? Because I don't think that would be given as a penalty. 
if it was the other way around with the defender. Yeah, and the important and the important part to really take here is we're not looking at intent. So when we use the word deliberate, what I want people to remove is this concept of intent, right? Instead, the way we're being advised as referees is to look at it as factually as we possibly can. Is his hand beyond his body? Is it outside the silhouette? Is the right hand above the shoulder? Those are the guidance and the reflections that even though there is a touch by the goalkeeper, the fact that he has made himself bigger, that is what determines whether or not it's a deliberate uh, handling offence, not intent. So, Christina, then what you've said, you've defended that decision. I can, I can understand his, his arm is outside his silhouette. So, how can you possibly can't argue for the next one because it's exactly the same? Uh, this next one's a tough one. Um, it's not tough. Christina, it's wrong, Christina. It's not Christina, it's, it's not tough. wrong. It's worse. <laughs> it's worse than the first decision because the first decision takes a deflection from the goalkeeper. That oh hand is outside God. his silhouette. Wow. Takes the ball away from and Sufati, everything. Come on. I mean, that, is, that, I mean, that decision, <laughs> Christina, on. that decision was the reason why we brought VAR in. I mean, it's a shocking decision that, that they can't give a penalty. With VAR, what we need to be able to show is a definitive and clear angle that it, in fact, hit his right hand. I'll Everything just, I'll about just give this you smells it. like a penalty. I've seen three or four different angles, right? The only thing we need to take away, did it hit his head? I don't think the answer is it hit his head. I do agree with you all. I do, figure, I do believe this is a handling offense, and it should have been a penalty. Here, this is the best clip that we have. Clip from behind the goal isn't well. There's one that's above high. That one should have been a recommendation down for penalty in this situation here. 100% agree and 100%, which I was a bit surprised because of the VAR is an experienced and well-established VAR for that not to be recommended down. He may have felt like he did not have a definitive clip to show that that was in fact uh, handling. But Christina, I, think that oh, Christina. Does I mean, that was the most definitive clip you could get. You just mentioned you're not sure if it might have touched the head. Are you talking about the Barcelona player no, or the Inter Milan with you. player? I'm saying that final clip, that final clip was the definitive angle that we needed for the VAR to recommend that down. I'm explaining that the VAR upstairs may have felt like he did not have a definitive clip, but with the whole football world and seeing that clip, that would have easily have sold it. No, for no. Penalty. so basically, with, with, with that clip, because everyone's been moaning about the time of VAR. They have not got the definitive clip that shows him handle the ball in the area and decided to go with that excuse is an absolute shambles. I never say anything. Can I say one thing? I never say anything usually. I let it go all the time. Can you, can you guys are allowed to say that you, you were wrong? I'm not asking, I'm not talking to you. Is it okay in the course sometimes? Did they teach you that you say, I was wrong? But, but she, did, she did say that no, she No, 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 but she's trying to explain. There's nothing to explain. He was wrong. Bye. Do but, but, See you. Bye bye. Click. See you later. He was wrong. It happens. It click, happened to click. me. It happened to a lot of people. He was wrong. Chris. The guy, the, 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 guy, the guy in the truck didn't call the referee. What was he on? I don't know what experience did he have. You don't need to be experienced. My son could have been it's an unbow. Could have seen it. My son saw it at home. He said he texted to me. He said it's an handball. <laughs> you have 20 billion cameras and you can't see it. Please, Chris, Christina, please. Christina, it happened. You know, it you, was wrong. Bye. Christina, you know the vi who, who was whoever was in the VAR tonight? Because uh, I'm sure Xavi, the Barcelona manager, and the players are going to speak about this in the mix zone. W would, would there be, uh, you know, I mean. Repercussions for VAR? Would they maybe not be put on the Champions League match day four? Can think? Do they get assessed the way maybe referees get assessed as well? Yes, we're all part of the referee team. So, is this decision incorrect? In my opinion, yes. The answer is this is an incorrect decision. It should have been a recommendation for a penalty situation. So, can we acknowledge that it's a mistake? Yes, we can acknowledge that it's a mistake. That being said. Or the fact that the referee would not, VAR had not sent it down, was that fact that he thought there wasn't a definitive angle, which I think we will all agree to disagree with him on that. That being said, all of these situations are reviewed. Anytime you're on the referee team, you're always being assessed by an assessor, broken town. Why is it that he did not send that down? I gave you probably his explanation as to why he would not have sent that down. That does affect future assignments. And to put this into perspective, these are individuals who are being prepared and getting ready for the World Cup. 
So this is not something that will be taken and simply said, ah, we're not going to move forward with this. There will be further training. And honestly, you end up sitting out quite a number of games for these types of errors. I think he's going to stay home. He's not going yeah, to the World Cup. He's going to have a month off now, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Well, this for, this VAR is not. What I'm saying is those that are leaning into it, a lot of the officials that are working in Champions League right now are getting these final games in before this World Cup. So this VAR is not going to. So at least, Terry, you don't have to worry about that. Um, but just kind of putting that into perspective. These are our final two notes before these games. These games are serious and the assignments are serious. Look, I, I, I'm looking at the name to make sure that I hope we won't have him. Because if he's if he if he does it like he does tonight, we're in trouble in, in the World Cup. This guy, I don't know what he was on. I have the name. I won't say the name, just in case someone's <laughs> gonna is gonna write him a letter or whatever. But the names are there, so I'm putting the names on the side. It's on your list, is it? Jerry? <laughs> it is right there. I'm just I looking because they put it VL. They have a name, and I won't name the well, name. What if he gets assigned a Belgium game? Well, I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> Christina, we appreciate your time. Thank you for taking it all. Thanks, in Christina. Day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Of course. Welcome back to our coverage here on Paramount Plus, CBS Sports Network. Fantastic to have you with us. Kate Abdo, Thierry Henry, Jamie Carragher, Micah Richards. So we've got a big post game coming up for you. We've got a big announcement coming up for you shortly as well. <laughs> We uh, are. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Oh, the suit is tight. Oh. I'm in the gym. Huh? <laughs> what it is? is it? Uh, well, listen, we've al already argued uh, plenty about uh, Inter Barcelona. What we haven't seen is the goal that won it. So let's take a look at the goal yeah, was a game. Uh, that won it for Inter Milan, uh, Chalhanolu. Ooh. Correct. Oh, very hey. good. Perfect. Hey. It was a wonderful finish. I know we talked about all the decision for the referees, but. After Inter Milan's form, it's not been great. To get this goal against Barca in such an important game as well, he had a really good game influence. It worked really hard for the team. The technique to get over it, keeper had no chance. Mm. I mean, I mean, that game was completely the opposite of your analysis, wasn't it? Before the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh, it's true. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I said you need to tie it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They're tied yeah, up today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like my suit. <laughs> Coach Mike. He, he, said, yes. he, said, he said Inter Milan couldn't defend and Barcelona could have a chance of winning the Champions League. No, 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 uh, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it could do. It's the early days. It's the early days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. It's the early days. We're going to go out to the San Siro because Let's Guillaume Valley for us. Guillaume, I imagine it's been lively in the tunnel, has it, after that game? Yes, he has been, and uh, let me tell you, I heard the, uh, the debate you were having about the uh, penalty not given to Barcelona. The Barcelona players have been told that the ball hits Ansu Fati's hand. That's what Villa has seen. Oh, my God. Or thinks he has seen. What? Oh. I'm leaving it. Don't, I'm don't start it there with this, Guillaume, please. That's what Barcelona players have been told. They thought it was the, the hand of, of Ansu Fati. It hits the hand of Ansu Fati. That's what the players of Barcelona have been told. Guillaume? Guillaume, so, are you... Are you aware are that the VAR and the VAR assistant are both from Holland? Ooh, ooh, Jamie. Yes. And Dumfries and is from Holland. Ooh, Jamie, Jamie. No, but wait, wait, are you going wait, wait, there? Guillaume, Guillaume, wait, I've wait, wait. There. Wait, Guillaume, important. You're talking about the second one, not, not, not the goal, the penalty. You're talking about the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, just to make... I know. The second one. Yes. So how many it's arms does he have in Sufati? So... That's what they've seen. I'm just uh, relaying the message uh, that the players have been told. I can tell you the players, don't the Barcelona players, don't understand, and they've been talking to some of the media here, they don't understand what they mean by that because it seems quite clear that the ball hits Dumfries' hand, clear to them. But uh, technology and VR and referee have decided that the ball hits Ansu Fati's hand. Oh. Wow. In any case, yeah. Hands? That's how what I said. How many hands are in the air? It's, how is it? His hand. Don't to be honest, no, he's the it's only his arm because he tries to hide his yeah, arm behind his back. Now it's like uh, yeah, but Fatty's hands are behind. Uh, uh, oh. Are there? How? Don't his hands are there. Fatty's hands are there. Dutch VAR, Dutch player. I don't know. So <laughs> you have you have eyes. You have. You, what? I know. I mean, listen, wow, we'll never I, understand this one, will we? Guillaume, let's bring you back in. Give wow. me your thoughts on, on the game that you witnessed live there at the San Siro tonight. I hope that uh, this referee mistake, we have to call it that, and technology mistake, doesn't uh, hide the fact that Barcelona have been played a very poor game. For the first hour, it just looked like 
they did not want to lose the ball instead of have do something with it. And Inter Milan, of course, they were never going to disappear from the last third. They were going to defend very deep. To beat that kind of defence, you have to move the ball very quickly. You have to make a lot of moves. You have to play with your eyes closed. I don't know, like City does, for instance. And quite clearly, in terms of positional game and organised attack, Barcelona are in the, at the first level. They haven't reached all the levels. And that means that uh, it was predictable, it was easy, it was like ball to Dembele, see what happens. They were never connected with Lewandowski and it was relatively easy for, uh, for Inter to defend. In the last half an hour, there was a little bit more action, more energy, especially when Ansu Fati came on. And, and it seemed like Barcelona could actually not only take the initiative but create chances. It just didn't happen. So this was another night that Barcelona fails. And I think it was at the back of the mind of the players for a long time, perhaps even the first hour, hence them not risking. I'm not sure Xavi will be happy with what they did with the ball, but it's a sign of where they are. Micah. Oh! oh! <laughs> Guillaume, be careful! Oh! Be careful, Guillaume! Barcelona with a better team today. They should have got some out of this game. But it's still any days. They had, Micah, they had a lot of the ball. Doesn't mean they were better. Ooh. There were two teams, right? And they came yeah. out with a different game plan, OK? So for Inter was defend, counter-attack, shoot from outside the box if you can. They did that very well. For Barcelona was let's find spaces. Let's find the players in between. Let's actually try to get the ball to those that will then turn and give it to the players up front. That never happened. At the end, how many crosses did Barcelona put in? And how dangerous are Barcelona crossing? That means that the game plan did not work. The Inter one did. Yes, Barcelona have more of the ball. Inter were cleverer with it. Guillaume, do you want to come in here next week and we'll send him to Destination Istanbul or whatever project you're doing or thing? <laughs> do you want to come in here? <laughs> oh, actually, uh, Guillaume, no. do you know what? No air miles for you next week. It's destination home. You're going to be staying in Barcelona. Uh, you're going to do the return leg. Are you happy with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be a good one and too. So happy. Nice. Very nice. Well, we will see you next week. God bless you. Thank you. Lakini pia tunaongezea mitaji, kuna mikopo ya mitaji, tunaita wezesha, wezesha wakala. Kwa hii wakala wezesha, manake na yeye anaweza wakala kakupa kwa siku, mpaka siku 30. Yani kakupa kama ni wiki, au wiki mbili, au siku 30. Kwa hii wakala unaweza wakawa na mtaji mdogo sana. Lakini sisi ya mpesa, tunakuja tunakuongezea mtaji wako. Uh, unaweza wakapata, uh, watu wanapata paka milioni tano. E, mikopo mm -hmm. kwenye 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 mawakala Dio. kwa ajili ya kuzungusha zile biashara zao Una, unaelewa unajua mtu anaweza kukala mkopo wa 1000 tu mm -hmm. ana, 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 anasema mtaji wa 1000 lakini Dio. sisi tunakuja tunamuongezea tunamsogeza umeona tuna, tuna maisha anakwenda kwa hiyo kama wakala uhitaji kuogopa kuingia kwenye biashara yani ukiwa na sisi maisha anaenda yeah. unakuja na laki moja sisi tunakuongezea hapo hata kama ni milioni moja nyingine yeah. unazungusha mtaji wako maisha anakwenda eh, na, na mahitaji yako ya biashara au ni uh, mahitaji mengine tofauti na hapo unaweza unakaa na hela siku 30 basi maisha anakuwa anaenda namna hiyo unazungusha <laughs> shughuli zinakwenda bwana safi sana jambo la mwisho la kumalizia kama hata yako mawili pia na, yeah. na, na nani labda kui, kuiweka wa urahisi kabisa kwa wanaotusikiliza sasa ni kwamba Mpesa kwa ujumla tume, tumeanza hii safari ya kurahisisha maisha ya, ya, ya wananchi haswa kwenye mambo ya kifedha yeah. na kwa kifupi sasa hivi tunaweza tukasema kwamba ni moja ya mitandao ambayo inawaweka wateja wetu wote nikimaanisha wateja wa kawaida na mawakala kwenye nafasi nzuri zaidi ya kiuchumi ukiachana kuwapa mikopo hii